Today I am plucking my eyebrows. So technically, all you need is a tweezer, but it helps if you have anything that's straight, like a straight line, a little spoolie, maybe even some scissors. I don't have my eyebrow ones, so I'm just gonna use my hair ones. You can Google the best eyebrow shape for your face shape, and then we'll do some eyebrow mapping. Uh, there's like that S shape, I think Kylie Jenner has that. Uh, there's a very harsh check shape and then a softer one. There's more straight across, like Ariana Grande. You can really do anything. So you can cleanse the area first. What you want is to do this and whatever is in line with your inner eye corner and the outside of your nose, here and here, is around the area you might want to pluck here. That's a little bit too far for me. But um, you can also create the illusion of further apart eyes if your eyebrows are a bit further apart. Then your nose again, the outer corner of your eye right there, is about the area you want your tail to be. Again, this is personal preference. Right now the style is to have pretty much no tail and you can just um, pluck that all away if you want. Or shave it. Shaving is a good idea too if you don't want it to be as permanent. because. Every hair has a blood vessel underneath, which keeps it healthy and alive. So if you don't want to rupture it, um, you can just shave it. And also, it's important to pluck in the direction of the hair growth. So these hairs are growing this way. I want to pluck this way, not this way. That can also create um, a rupture of that blood vessel, which can lead to scarring. And that's how you wake up with those little red dots. That can happen regardless, so you might not want to pluck the day of or before an important event if you don't have makeup. Straight across, however you want. Some people also do the outer corner of your eye here to be the arch. It really depends how you want your shape to be, but this just helps you have a little guideline. And I don't mark my face, but you can use like an eyebrow pencil or something to draw or you can just pluck as you go along so if you want a more natural look so many men want that you just don't go in and clean it up as precisely so you can still get the general shape um, and you get any outlying hairs but you don't have to have that perfect line that makes it like a straight drawing you can have any random hairs stragglers like this I don't have that many but you can leave it more unkempt to look more natural if you want. You want to make sure that your tweezers come together so you take out any hairs that are stuck in there and they come together completely because otherwise they won't be able to grab your hairs. What I do is I'll do the top, then this one, then the bottom, then this one, then the tails on each side and you always want to look at it close and really compare and then far away and then I go here on the inside. Um, you just want to keep comparing little by little. Less is always more, seriously, because you can come in and clean it up, but you can't add hair back on after. So try to remember to be patient. Less is more. And it's okay if they're not perfectly symmetrical. It's unlikely. I had a friend who I helped uh, in El Salvador. One of her eyebrows was a little bit higher. So what I did was I just plucked a little bit more off the top of this hair, um, off the top of this eyebrow, and then a little bit on the bottom of this eyebrow to make it look higher and lower. And it did actually even it out. So you can have those little tricks too, but you don't want to overdo it and make them too thin. If you have naturally thick uh, eyebrows, you can play around with that, so it's a lot easier. But don't be afraid. If you have really thin eyebrows, you can still clean it up and you can still make a new shape. This arch tends to be a little bit higher than this one, which is more flat across. So either what you can do in that case, you can just fill in your eyebrows how you want them to look and pluck around that, or I just pluck this arch down a tiny little bit uh, so it's more even because I don't wear makeup very often. And if you want to deepen that arch, you can start with a few, like that first little layer of hairs and do it one by one and make it even slowly going up, not just like abruptly like this. Now my problem is that it's straight across here still, not going up with it. So you can just draw that on if you want. Or I can pluck the first few rows of hairs from here, and that makes this look lower, and then you look like you have that arch, that slope. Or do a permanent like 
face. <laughs> so this is my first time plucking for about a month. I do usually once a month. Uh, and I get some hairs here as well. Um, you can start with getting the big ones and then back and forth, look away, further away and see how they're looking from far. And then you can go in and clean up those little hairs with, I do my phone flashlight on a mirror. So it doesn't hurt me anymore because I've just been doing it for a while. But if it does hurt you, then it's just good practice to hold it taut. So let's say you're pulling here. I can't really see any from here, but let's just say. And that also helps you find those little hairs. Here I just go all over. <laughs> I got a little unibrow. Your eyes do start watering. For me it's not pain, it's just your nerves. I do take out some of it here because it's just, they're too close together for me. You just want to make sure both sides are taking an equal amount. Um, but now they're a little too boxy and I don't like that. So I just take one little hair from here from the bottom to round it out a bit. So you can use the spoolie after you're done. So anything you want to clean up in there, you can. But again, less is more, so take only a little bit off. And then you can spoolie downwards. They're not twins, and that's okay. I have a few patchy spots because how they grow. If you watch my um, growing your eyebrows and eyelashes with castor oil video, they used to look better than they do now. Like here, it's a little sparse underneath. So you can see they look, they look decent. They've been better. If you have any questions or tips, please let me know. Have a great day.